One of the more lovely benefits to emerge from the construction of the new Waitakere Council Chambers and Complex was the rebuilding of a Japanese garden that honours a sister-city relationship between Waitakere and the Japanese city Kakugawa. Just recently, the Mayor of Waitakere, Bob Harvey, took some time out in the Japanese garden to tell the community channel how this oasis of tranquility came into being. When I became Mayor in 1992, I was aware that there had been a relationship with a Japanese city called Kakagawa. I had not been to Kakagawa, uh, but I was asked by the Film Commission if I would go to Fukuoka, which is the sister city of Auckland. And while I was there, uh, actually making a pitch uh, to bring a film festival to Japan, I jumped on the bullet and raced down to Kakagawa and just introduced myself as the new mayor of Waitakere. And indeed, that was the beginning of a rich and very long and very fulfilling relationship. This very rich and long relationship is not often far from the thoughts of Mayor Bob Harvey. His new office is placed right beside the new Japanese garden, reminding him on a daily basis of that first visit to Kakogawa. In those early discussions with the people of Kakogawa, the mayor discovered the importance the Japanese placed on creativity, art and culture, and what they most desired in a sister city relationship. They wanted a Maori presence in their gardens, and so we gave them three beautiful carved pofenuas. In return, they gave us a small and very beautiful Japanese garden for the old uh, council office. As our friendship grew, we decided we would try something very bold. We would bring here to the new complex a beautiful garden. Completed in September 2006, the gardens were lacking that one final touch. An opening ceremony. And I'd also like to congratulate you on the opening of the, the new Waitakere Central uh, buildings, beautiful buildings, and the, on the completion of the Japanese uh, garden, uh, representing the people of Kahugawa on behalf of the on behalf of the everyone. I would like to congratulate you all. This is a historic moment for us here in Waitakere, uh, a historic moment in the partnership between Kakugawa and Waitakere here in this, the new Japanese garden. After a lot of love and care, they were now picture perfect, an enchanting little piece of Japan in the heart of New Zealand. An expensive luxury, some would say, but Mayor Bob explains how important these cultural exchanges are to the Japanese and why they are willing to make such a large investment in time, travel and money. I've been to Japan 12 times, uh, that's a lot of visits. They have been maybe 13, 14, and I really rate that city. Kakugawa City, who is a very wealthy city, I might say, as all Japanese cities are compared with New Zealand, put up an investment uh, in New Zealand, a love of New Zealand, a love of the city of Waitakere. So I think it was us a third, and they put up the rest. And I adore the mayor. Uh, I, I just think he's the most fantastic uh, elder statesman. He's wise uh, and he is just, um, Senchi is a very dear friend. Highlighting the huge respect paid to the sister city relationship by the people of Kakogawa was the large number of official dignitaries that travelled to New Zealand in honour of the opening. This was respect indeed. An additional cost to the visiting party was the team of drummers. Bob admits this was one of his requests. I'm, uh, I'm a drummer myself. I've always played uh, the, the, the conga. And so I asked, uh, could they bring some drummers? When I've been to Japan, I've seen the most amazing drumming. They're very close to the Kobe 
uh, mills. The Kobe steel mills have a massive drumming group. Some of the drums are about five, six meters, I think, across. They shake the walls. And so they brought a mini version of that. And they were just fantastic as they brought their drumming skills together with Māori sounds and the sounds of the city. So it didn't take much persuasion to get up and have a go? I'm a drummer. I think a drumming history and a drumming background makes you a better person. Uh, but I love that ability to create sound. And so I couldn't resist that. And uh, it was a part of the tribute to me and the city that the mayor brought that drumming group. Now drumming can be quite strenuous, so Bob was quite relieved to sit down and have a cup of tea. But a cup of tea with a difference. Japan always takes Japan to the world and uh, the women in their kimonos, the, the men in their ceremony, uh, ceremonial coats uh, were a joy and a pleasure to have amongst us. Uh, and also their spirit. Japan is not that keen on trade with New Zealand. They want friendship uh, and they want support in, in their endeavours to see a better world. I am I'm so impressed by the richness of Japan and the way they want to export, if you like, one thing, their love of peace and harmony. Included in the large contingent of visitors were those steeped in the traditions and customs of the Japanese people, one of them being the tea ceremony. I have a bit of a history with Japan way back about 30 years ago. I did the martial art of kendo and so I was used to going to dojos most Wednesdays and Saturdays. I got a, quite a good grading in kendo, the art of swords. I don't do that now, I have to tell you. And so the part of the tea ceremony was something that I remember so well. In fact, I started to learn Japanese when I was about 30. And so I had this wonderful sense of their culture. And so when the tea service happened, I felt, I hope my colleagues sitting here, they're all sitting on these benches, I might say. I wish that we had done the traditional uh, Japanese thing and knelt uh, on, the, on the wooden floor. I think that would be bad for those old creaking knees in my councils. Mayor Bob, as guest of honour, received the first cupful. <laughs> oh, it is very nice. It is very good. Nice. Nice. How was that first taste appreciated? I think that if there's one thing that you can start your day off on, it's green tea. My daughters drink green tea endlessly. And you, most Europeans look at green tea and think, how the hell am I going to get that down? Believe me, try it. It's absolutely delicious. And not only that, you feel a new person. An enchanting and ancient traditional tea ceremony to open the brand new Japanese garden at the new Waitakere Council Chambers. Another step together in building the long-running relationship with sister city Kakogawa. Having a sister city does produce some great benefits. The garden being so close to your office must remind you of this every day. I think the relationship between Kakogawa and Waitakere is one of those relationships as they say made in heaven. Uh, we like each other, we respect each other, we get on so well. This garden has been an absolute fantastic gift. Uh, people are getting married here, people come and eat their lunch here, people come and sit here, contemplate their life, I think their future and the world. It's, it's a garden that brings meditation, calmness. I'll often when things are going not that well I will come out here and sit here, just where I'm sitting here talking to you, and think about how does a city work, how does a country work, where's my place in all of this. Um, I guess I'll be coming here, even when I'm not the mayor. Uh, they'll say, oh, see that guy sitting out there, he used to be the mayor. You pass by the world of politics reasonably quickly, although I've been mayor for 15 years, and I think I'll be coming to this garden till I'm a very old man. <laughs>